Hey guys, welcome back to Beerific. I'm your host Andrew. Today I got another great beer for us to review uh, from another great brewer. Actually, you know what? We recently had him on the show uh, for a review. Martin House Brewing, they're at it again. Today we have a special release from them and I can't wait to try it. Today on the table, we have Cookie Monster. All right, Cookie Monster is a barrel aged imperial thin mint stout. That's a mouthful. It sounds absolutely delicious, and you know what? Let's get right into it. But first, I guess, for a little, little ASMR. There it is. Martin House cookie monster uh, inside the box you're gonna get two cans um, of this stout here uh, and you know what uh, this is a limited release it's, it is a little pricier than I mean if you want to consider it that I would not say this is pricey uh, the cost of this was about I don't know I think like 12 or 13 dollars uh, right around that range maybe less or more depending on where you shop but that's what I paid for it, and uh, if that concerns you, there you go. That's the price. All right, let's see how this beauty pours. All right, so. Oh yeah, that is very dark, very coffee-like. I mean, this is like an espresso dark. You know what, I totally forgot that. To build up the head, my apologies for that, but nevertheless, there it is, a beautiful dark chocolate stout uh, with Thin Mints, so let's see if those are there. Oh yeah, right up front, Thin Mints. So if you're a fan of Thin Mints, you know when that time of year comes around, you can't help but to hoard a couple boxes. You know what, that's not the <clears throat> season for that right now, but we have this, and a big thank you for Martin House Brewing for keeping it innovative and constantly coming out with uh, you know new products that are not only delicious, which I'm assuming this is gonna be, um, I mean, they just have it going on. All right, so the head retention uh, isn't very long, but it did retain a ring here around the entire glass, and I do see plenty of carbonation flowing through, so this is a very lively beer. Can't wait to try it. You know what? Let's get to a taste test. On the nose, Thin Mints, chocolate, you know, and general toasted aroma. Wow. Uh, whew, wow. Right up front, a lot of chocolate, um, that, you know, classic Thin Mint taste. And towards the end of the flavor profile, you do get the dark, you know, chocolate roasted, coffee roasted flavor. Uh, it's a very delicious beer. Let's go in for a second one just to confirm. Man, that is like tasting a, uh, there's another beer that I used to describe like this, but I haven't found it in a very long time. Uh, that's not here nor there. This tastes like cold, hot chocolate. And this is a flavor that I've been pursuing for a very long time. I am so happy that Martin House made this beer. You know, this is a beer to be enjoyed, I think a little slower. You know, this is not a, I'm gonna slam it back, you know. This is something that I'd like to session over a small period of time. And then, you know what, I may 
want another may go in for a second one uh, because the flavors that I'm getting you know they're not overwhelming they're very prominent they're balanced you know they come in succession you know so it's like a very flavorful aromatic clean ending palette that you get on you know on your taste buds so being such a high ABV beer at 12% I definitely taste some of the alcohol flavor in there uh, and that's not a bad thing it's very well masked and well balanced so I don't think that it takes away from the beer but this beer is 46 IBUs uh, the bitterness is on point you know with what it this beer should be um, it, it adds a nice bite to the sweetness that's coming from the cookies and uh, overall they did a great job with that Fernie let me not forget about you hey if you find this beer guys this is an absolute must buy I want to give a shout out to uh, Beers looking at you. They actually uh, had this beer in stock. I hit them up on their Instagram and they held me a box. I'm very grateful for that. This was, you know, a great tasting beer. I'm very much enjoying it. If you find it, hey, buy it. Cookie Monster did have a self control problem, but can you really blame him? You know, if this is what he was experiencing in his universe and his palate, I'm with him. This shh, Cookie Monster. You were right. Uh, but hey, this is an absolute home run. I'm sure I've said that like 10 times by now. But I cannot express to you enough. Go buy this beer. I'm whoring for likes right now. Guys, like this video. Comment and subscribe so we know that you want us to keep making this kind of content. And if there's something that you want to see, let us know in the comments below. If you want us to try a beer, um, let us know. We'd be more than happy to do so. Uh, just remember that we are in the Houston, Texas area, so whatever is surrounding us, we'll try to pick that up and try it for you guys. All right, this has been Andrew. I'll see you at the next review. You're beautiful.